Judgment. Psalms 96, verse 13. Before the Lord, for he cometh, for he cometh to judge the earth. He shall judge the world with righteousness and the people with his truth. There are thousands of different denominations in the world today. Each religion condemns the other, yet they all promise salvation through their denomination. How do we know which one to choose? If we choose the Catholic Church, then we accept the intercession of saints, which is no more than praying to idols. The Bible says, For there is one God and one mediator between God and men, the man Christ Jesus. The priest is called Father, which was forbidden by Jesus in Matthew 23, 9. And call no man your father upon the earth, for one is your Father which is in heaven. The Assemblies of God tells us that speaking in tongues is the initial evidence of the Holy Ghost. When Paul said, Though I speak with the tongues of men and angels, and have not charity, I am become as sounding brass or a tinkling cymbal. Almost all denominations are quick to tell us that many things in the Bible are misinterpreted, lost in translations, or don't apply in today's world. So are we supposed to believe the Bible or the denominational doctrines? What will God use as a standard for judgment? If I would ask the Catholic here tonight, what do you think God will judge the world by? The Catholics say, by the Catholic Church. All right, now what Catholic Church? Now they got the Roman, the Greek Orthodox, and many of them. Which Catholic Church would it be? The Lutherans say, by us. Then you Baptists are out. And then if we'd say, by the Baptists, then the Pentecostals are out. So there would be such a confusion, no one would know what to do. So he never promised to judge the world by the church. He promised to judge the world by Christ. And Christ is the Word. And the Bible is what will judge the world, which is Jesus Christ, the same yesterday, today, and forever.